Hello, I'm Kate and welcome to this car boot sale haul video. So I hope you're okay sending love to everyone and I'm so excited to be showing you all my car boot sale bargains. I've got some amazing things to show you and when I was at the car boot sale, that's me at the car boot sale looking through treasure, I was trying to be really good and just buy the things that I really love. So I was going to say I haven't got a lot, but I have actually. I've got lots of lovely things to show you. It's been brilliant being back um, at car boot sales and charity shops. I just love it. And I went to two car boot sales, so I found this over a weekend. It was about three weeks ago actually now, so quite a while ago. And I've just been saving it to show you. So lots and lots of bargains. Um, I've got house items. I haven't got any clothes actually. I was more looking for house items and things that I, I really loved. I thought Got enough clothes at the moment i've got some lovely new dresses and um, so i was just looking for some housey bits so i'm going to do my um mug of the day which is this lovely little calf kidston one and this was 50p from a car boot sale a couple of years ago and i spied it it was under something and i spied a little polka dot and i went delving and then i i found it it was a little calf kidston mug for 50p i've got a decaf coffee in my mug of the day but the coffee is horrible it's um a little disp despresso no, it's, uh, what, decaf, <laughs> Despresso. that's not a word, is it? I am now gonna show you my car booty bargains. So this is um, a mixing bowl. And if you watch my videos, you'll know that I don't do a lot of cooking. I'm a rubbish cook, caker, caker? I'm a rubbish caker, I'm a rubbish baker. I don't bake, sometimes I did through lockdown, but we all tried. Um, but sometimes Lee makes banana bread, you can mix stuff in here, it looks beautiful. So I thought I needed it, it's this lovely cream mixing bowl. It's very posh too, it's from Waitrose. Waitrose, darling! And it was a pound, or one pound fifty, something like that. It was either two pounds, I bartered a little bit with the lady, and uh, so it was one pound or one pound fifty. Isn't that just lovely little scallop detail with these lovely big dots? It's just gorgeous, isn't it? So I thought I would get that. Yeah, and it's really large. It's like it looks quite small there, but it is. It's as large as my head. Like it's 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 a it's a big one. So yeah, I got that. I'll put that down there. I put that down there, and then I got some bowls. These lovely pasta bowls because I quite like some I already have, and they keep chipping. So when I saw these, they were brand new. They still had the tags on. I'll give them a good old wash as well. And um, yeah, I just thought I need those. I love a big pasta bowl. So that one's kind of orange and blue, and this one is orange and blue, but like the opposite, isn't it? Really nice, like, patterns. And there is a make on the bottom. It says, what do you say, Nicola Spring. So that's, that's the person. Got a couple of these little tea light holders. They're really heavy, little like bobbly ones. And these were 50p for the two or 20p each. They were really cheap, so I just thought I would get them. They're a nice kind of dark grey colour. I think Rufus has just started snoring, if you can hear him, he's having a little snuffle. But these might be, I got these because I just thought they looked lovely and I don't know, have a look, what do you think? They're like little vintage butter, Rufus is really snoring. I think he get, like gets really um, relaxed when I'm talking or something because he doesn't always snore this loud. He does when I'm watching telly as well, but usually when I'm doing a video, he snores. So these are little, it's a little butter knife and a spoon. Sorry, I've got something trapped on there, some fluff. I've given them a really good wash because they had like sticker marks on them. So, and they came up really, um, really well. So that's like a funny little spoon, like for jam, isn't it? And then that's a, a butter knife. I just thought they were quite sweet. And I think they were 50p, I think they were 50p for the two. So I thought, well, I'm gonna have to get them. The make is pewter. Oh no, I think I'm going to sneeze. Um, and it says Parian, Parian Designs, Pewter England. So I tried to find them and I, I'm going to sneeze. Hang on a sec. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Just my eyes watered a bit. Um, apologies for the sneeze of the day. I haven't done that for a while. Um, yeah, so these two, butter, knife and a spoon. Would you have got them? Would you? I don't know. I just thought... They looked cute and they might be nice. I mean, if you have jam on toast, you could use butter and, or if you have like scones or something, they'd be really sweet. Um, right, what should I show you next? I've got a light lamp and this works. Yeah, because you can't always test things. You've got to go on trust at car boot sales. Um, so with electrical items, I never really pay a lot 
on this so because just in case they don't work but this works beautifully it was a pound and it's just a really nice bamboo lamp yeah so just a really simple bamboo lamp that probably go in our living room um and where's it from does it say where it's from originally no it doesn't it doesn't tell me but just a very nice bamboo lamp and it works it's a nice warm glow and it's got a light bulb in it and it's fitted with a three amp fuse yeah so a pound for that lovely lamp i think it could go in this i haven't got any lamps in this room it would go because this is like a this is a bambooey room oh this is lovely this is no i'll show you what's in it first and then i will show you the thing at the end so i've got i probably didn't need these because well i didn't really need them but then i thought they would be good for um to make gin like gin lollies so when you have people over in the garden it's hot it's not the moment because it's raining it's really horrible weather today actually but you know it, ha it has been nice isn't it and this would be perfect to have people over and you could have a little gin lolly and they were 50p so they're from b&m originally they're brand new car boot sales are also brilliant for brand you get so many brand new things as well people just they've bought things and just you know realize they didn't really want them and then get rid of them at car boot sales or you can get a lot of gifts as well so people kind of sell gifts they might have received and didn't really want so you can pick up some amazing things at car boot sales so these are just yeah four pack of silicone ice lolly molds and perfect for keeping cool on summer days so they were 50p and i could um i'll write gin on them in case they are so i won't give them to toby i will write with a permanent marker so he doesn't eat them and i also got from the same lady some pineapple what are they called pineapple ice lolly molds so three of those they were 50p as well and um, originally three pounds from b&m so that's a, a good saving and then you can just put it'd be nice with just pineapple juice wouldn't it rufus rufus is really snoring they're really cute look yay so um yeah a couple of little things to make ice lollies I actually don't have any of those i bought some years ago and then i lost the lid so yeah they'd be good to have i got a lovely jug oh lovely jug for a pound and it's just quite simple it's enamel it's a nice color i do love these for flowers and i do have quite a few jugs but i thought well i'll sneak one more in because it's just just very pretty and the fact it was only a pound and it's so light as well so yes i got that oh these are 50p each just some little um faux fake artificial faux fake artificial succulents so two of those i think you and might have been after those if you'd have seen them perhaps maybe so 50p each for these two and hi you and if you're watching i hope you're okay um right he's very busy at the moment with all his stuff i got this as well i was with my friend kelly when we went to the car boot sale and she was like oh look you've got to get that oh so i thought oh okay how much and she said 50p i was like okay i'll have it so i got this for 50p so it's one of those macrame 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 um signs and it's just signs i don't know one of these things it's just very long so i thought it'd be quite nice in here so i i grabbed that uh, we could go in the living room, I suppose. It's got some new pictures in there, and that might work with them or near them. Would you like that? Would you like to go to the living room with the new pictures? What's that? You would? Why are you whistling? So, yeah, 50p for that. Yeah, I did get a candle, and I probably shouldn't have got the candle, but the candle was beautiful and brand new. I think it's from Next. Next. I don't know why I whispered that. Yeah, it's from ne Next brand new candle from next i mean if you were gonna not buy if you're gonna buy a candle when you're not trying to buy candles this is going to be the candle that you buy when you're not trying to because look you couldn't not get that i think it was a quid i can't remember 50p or a pound so very cheap and i just nabbed it it's never been lit before it smells so good and i love the pattern this would be quite a nice um like plant pot when it's finished when it's burnt when it's all gone so how much would that be from next do you reckon that's seven quid or something does it no does it tell me the flavor oh there it does lemon and bergamot bergamot candle harmful to aquatic life with long-lasting effects i don't have any aquatic life so no harm done maybe the people selling it had aquatic life so they couldn't have the candle right i've got this sign i don't know if it works we could find out that I've got some batteries on the landing. I was meant to bring them in and I forgot. So this was a pound and it's a 
my hair on it it's a love sign a neon love sign and i quite like something for here well it's quite small isn't it or somewhere maybe um near our like bar area in our house so i thought if that does work that's brilliant it might not work that's the thing with like electrical stuff so i'm going to grab some batteries they're literally on the landing in a second um i'll just show you this and then i'll grab the batteries so this is like a big is it water hyacinth is that what it's called? Wickery trough thing. And this was, I think this was a pound. It was really cheap. And Kelly um, saw it as well, but she didn't want it. And I was like, I'm going to have to get that. So it'd be great if it was outdoors, but I think it would, it might trash it if it was outdoors. So this is probably more of an indoor thing, isn't it? So I'd probably have to put some plant pots inside or line it or something. So I'll look into it because it wouldn't last long outside, would it? I don't know, what would you do with this? I couldn't leave it behind, so I thought it was a really good buy. And I love things like this. I love all the natural materials. So yeah, what would you do? Would you line it? Would you put plants in it? Or would you just put it outside and hope for the best? What do you reckon? So yeah, let me know in the comments. I do love things like this. Or is there another purpose? Could it go on a window ledge or something? No, it's probably not one of ours because they're not big enough. Yeah, so let me know any ideas for that. Um, I'll just put that down there. Right, so I'm going to run and get some batteries. Will you stay there? Will you stay there? Yeah, Rufus will keep you company with his snores. We're only out here. Them. Okay, I'm back. Sorry. I hope that was quick and it wasn't too um what's the word? Uh long. Rufus just poked his head up. So like, what are you doing? Sorry, Rufus. Right, I'm just gonna go oh no. This one with a I'll be back. Hang on, I'm gonna stay there. Rufus, do some snoring. I'm just gonna get something to open the batteries in. I'll be back in a second. So I've got this. Who needs a screwdriver when you've got a, a nail file? So I'm going to unscrew the screw. I find it really annoying when they put one of these and I normally end up just breaking them because I can't get in. That's not working. Oh no! Come on. People are wa waiting. I'm just going to break it. No, I shouldn't break it. I'm back. I had to actually break it a little bit because it wouldn't let me in and it looked like the, um, the little twisty bit had gone like you know where you put your screwdriver in so fingers crossed it works let's see okay first battery oh first battery i've just broken a bit more <laughs> fingers crossed yay it works oh brilliant it works oh, i'm really happy i didn't think it would actually it doesn't look very bright there because i think because i've got my light on but it is bright um so I turn the light off and then you can see hang on a second right is that off no there we go can you see better now yeah it's nice isn't it and i have broken this a bit but it doesn't matter because i'm in there and i'm in there and we did it we like that. Do you think that's a bit small for there, isn't it? So maybe, oops, I'm just destroying it. Maybe somewhere else. I'll leave it there for now. It's not going to stay now. Ah! Ooh. Ah! Hang on. Just stay there for a little bit. If I put it in there. Oh, you can tell I'm a bodger. How's that? Okay, maybe we will just put it there for now. How's that? Yeah, so it has got its little, um, oh sorry, the little clip things here to put it up properly. So I will do that at some point. No, stay like that for now. Is that okay? Stay. Oh, oh no, I've got the other light. There we go, we'll leave that there for now. You can kind of see that, but I'll turn the light back on. Sorry, got a bit close then. This video is a bit all over the place, so I do apologise. Right, okay, I'm onto my final two items and they are both really amazing this is a lovely water hyacinth again like a wickery thing i think it is water hyacinth i learned that on here actually when someone told me um 
what a previous item was. So this is just oh, a little storage box. Well, it was quite a big storage box and it was two pounds. I didn't haggle. I just thought that was great for two pounds. in really good condition. You just lift the lid here and it's got loads of storage inside of little handles. Um, I don't know where it's from, but um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna use, use it for. It could be in the snug room or in the main room, maybe with some games in or something, because we don't always have a place for our games. They just end up like all over the place sometimes. So maybe the games could go in here and be tucked away in the blue living room. So yeah, I thought that was great for two pounds and you can't beat a box like this, can you? Like a little storage box, so really good. Love that. Really love finding things like this and baskets. And then I'm onto my final thing. And I did try and haggle with the lady with this item, but she wasn't having any of it. She was like, no, get away. Well, she didn't say that, but she was just completely ignoring me. But it was worth it. I paid five pounds for this. So this is my big ticket item of the day. And it was near the end. And I saw it and thought that looks really nice. So I've given it a wash. So it's had a really good wash in the washing machine. It's a huge, big throw it's actually for the bedroom I wasn't sure if it was a picnic blanket you could obviously use it for anything um but I'm going to use it in this room on on the bed because I think it looked really nice it's kind of like it's got a funny shape it goes around so it's like meant for a bed and it's got tassels on the end I love the color it's in really good condition because it's probably really old and my friend Kelly loved this as well she was going to have it if I didn't buy it she saw it um as she went round and then I was asking she went oh I'll have it if you don't want it and I was like no I'll get it I'll pay the fiver and we laid it out on the floor to have a good check when you buy things like this open them up to have a really good check so they could have like a stain or a mark on that you can't sorry just getting the brass straps um a mark on that you can't get out so do have a good look at things I bought things before and I've got them home and they're either chipped or like there's a mark on them I'm like why didn't I see that at the time um, I just bought it because I'm stupid. So yeah, do check things. It's something I'm going to be doing a lot more of in the future. But this is perfect. Um, I can't really show you very well. So I will put it on the bed and probably take some pictures for Instagram. I've got to change the bedding. And it's actually from Portugal, as you can see there. So I don't know. wonder what its story. If you could talk, you'd probably tell me a lovely story. It just says Fabric of Portugal, made in Portugal. And then the dimensions, it's 100% acrylic and it's got kind of this detail around it and then tassels around like the, where it goes around on the bed and it's absolutely huge. So it's gonna be really hard to show you in detail, more detail, but it's absolutely massive, this huge big throw. So I probably will use it as a picnic blanket maybe and then definitely on the bed, it smells amazing. I've washed it in some lovely um, stuff and it smells gorgeous. I wish you could smell this too, but it's really, really nice and I'm glad I got it actually. So yeah, I'll just put that down there for now and then make the bed a bit later on. Oh, that's it. That's everything in my car boot sale haul. I just want to quickly show you um, this toothbrush that I've been sent. And I, I get a few things offered. I think everyone does on YouTube, you know, do you want this? And do you want swimwear and different things? But obviously I don't take anything like that. And then when this company got in touch, the lady was lovely. And she said, would you like this toothbrush? So I asked Toby, and he said, yeah, he wanted to try it. So I said, yes, please, I'd love to try that. Well, Toby would. So it's a children's electric toothbrush. This isn't um, a paid ad or anything. They just got in touch and they sent me this as a PR sample. So that's what it is. I've sent this for free, basically, because I thought Toby might like it and he did. Um, so yeah, it's a toothbrush and it's quite a clever one because that's what it looks like. He's been using it for about a month so far and he loves it he was unsure at first and then he got into it was like yeah mum this is great that's the charger so it's really easy to charge you go like that and then it goes into your you know place where you put your phones all into the plug thing um so that's how you charge it so it's nice and easy there's not like massive um charger thing and the heads are slightly different i'll put the link in the description box if you're interested um jolly brush it's called so yeah that's um it's a slightly different brush if you can see it there it's like a it goes like really gets under and on top of your teeth so kids obviously miss bits when they're brushing their teeth and this is really good he's really liked it as well so it just kind of if you can see it there like opens up and it goes around on your teeth and it's an electric one so it vibrates and then just cleans your teeth really well so that's the jolly brush 
so i just thought i'd show you that and we think it's jolly good so yeah that will be linked in the description box and thank you so much to the company for sending it to us so that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it. i'm so happy that my love sign works even though i um, broke the battery thing but sometimes you have to break these things I break a lot of those actually when I can't get into them and the um, screwdriver doesn't work because sometimes they get a little bit rusty, but it's great. I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. It looks really small there, but it's not actually that very small. I think I might put that in my, in my bar maybe, in my bar. What am I talking about? In my alcove, but I've got some gin bottles. So yeah, let me know where you'd put that if you think it should go here or if you think it should go in uh, downstairs in the dining room um yeah just let me know in the comments also let me know your favorite item in this haul as well just pop it down below i hope you enjoyed this video even though i was scampering around a little bit during it i hope you enjoyed it if you did give the video a like and uh, make sure you subscribe and come over to instagram as well i'm uh, kate mccabe on instagram and i've got a house account called kate's homely home and i'll link those in the description box along with last week's video which was always a little haul and uh living room blue living room makeover and then before that was a charity shop haul and i think next week i'm going to do a charity shop haul charity shop haul or i've got my furniture upcycle one so it'll be one of the two um so yeah that'll be next friday but take care have a lovely weekend thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for being there i really appreciate it and i love showing you my bargains it's just my favorite thing to show you my bargains but yeah have a lovely day from rufus and bestie and me we'll speak to you next week well, they won't because they're pets, but I will. Bye. Hello. I know I just said goodbye on the end of the car boot sale video, but I forgot to say that I've had my hair done. And I forgot to say it in the last video as well. I've had it dyed darker, which you may have noticed. So, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that because I haven't. And if you're like, you look different somehow. What did you do? And yeah, it's the hair. It's the hair. I had it cut and um, I had it darkened. And then and then Rufus is here as well. So, yeah, I just want to quickly pop on and say that because I forgot. So, um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Take care and have a lovely weekend. Bye bye.